Hey everybody, it's Raya, and we are going to check out the HTV Rant Heat Press. This one is 15 inches by 15 inches, which means you can press multiple shirt sizes and even items like totes, hats, and so much more. The heat press showed up right in time for summer and for HTV Rant's summer party sale, which I'll talk about later in this video. The HTV Rant heat press is heavy and very sturdy. When I got it out of the box, there was absolutely no wobble to it, which is pretty important with my five-year-old running around. You'll want to make sure to read the handy manual before you start your project. The auto heat press is as safe as you can get, but we are talking about heat and electricity, so safety first. My first impression of this particular heat press is that it's definitely clean and pretty. I love the color and I believe you can get it in white also. I also like how simple the buttons are. It makes it very easy to get started and I'm super excited to try it out. This heat press is great for anyone who uses a Cricut, but if you're just starting out and you don't have one, you can get the printable sublimation paper or the printable heat transfers. This sublimation paper came with 100 sheets and the texture resembles thick printer paper. You would need to use sublimation ink to print on these and you would use this paper on polyester clothing. The printable heat transfers comes with 20 sheets and works with an inkjet printer. The texture of this one resembles vinyl and can be used on mostly cotton items. It also comes with some parchment paper to use over your design to protect the colors. When you're doing this kind of project, you will definitely want to use heat tape to secure your designs to prevent shifting. This tape sticks without leaving residues before and after heat application. Even though this is my first time using a heat press, I do believe that heat tape is necessary. So because the sublimation paper is used on mostly polyester material and I use cotton 100% of the time, I'm going to use the printable heat transfers for my first two projects. I wanted to really represent summer in my own way with these designs, so my first pick was these super cute and happy popsicles. They really remind me of summer and of my daughter. My second pick was a sea turtle in Sundala for obvious reasons. I also want to mention that I don't have a cutting machine, so I went with an X-Acto knife and my cutting mat. Now that I have my designs cut out, I need to prep my new heat press. Once you plug it in, the power button will blink. I'm going to follow both the heat press instructions and the heat transfer instructions. Once the press is on, I'm going to set the temp to what the heat transfer instructions say, which is 330 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm going to set the time for 5 seconds while the heat press gets to the set temp, I'm going to position my first shirt on the pullout platform. My first shirt is a 100% cotton Comfort Colors t-shirt. Now the reason I'm only doing five seconds at first is to iron out any moisture and wrinkles in the shirt so that my design won't be warped. Then you simply press the start button. The press automatically lowers and raises with pressure sensing. And as you can see, the heat is evenly distributed on the 15 by 15 platform. The wrinkles are gone and now I have a completely flat and smooth surface for my design. Now it's time to apply the designs. So I peel off the backing and it's definitely not stiff so be careful not to pull too hard or fast. I'm going to position my cute popsicles exactly the way I want them to look when the shirt is done. There is a t-shirt tool to help measure the shirt and guide you on the positioning. I don't have one at this time, but when tie-dyeing, my rule of thumb is a few inches from the collar.
For this shirt, I used the heat tape to secure my design and also secure the parchment paper. But after doing it for the first time, I realized you may not have to tape your designs down and you can just make sure the parchment paper is secure. This part should not have taken as long as it did, but like I said before, this was my first time using a heat press. You'll want to make sure the parchment paper is covering the whole design, so sometimes you may have to use more than one sheet. But don't worry, they are reusable. Now that it's time to set the design, I'm going to press the design at 330 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. I accidentally only pressed it for 5 seconds this time, but I did press it for another 10 seconds off camera. While this is pressing, I want to mention how quiet this machine is. I also noticed that there was no burning smell, so that's a very good sign. Now we can reveal our new shirt, and as I mentioned before, the heat tape came off super easy and didn't leave any residues. This used to be boring t-shirt has been brought to life in just a small amount of time. Let me know in the comments what you think about my new Popsicle Besties t-shirt. Now for the second design, I'm going to do the exact same thing on the second shirt, which is my 100% cotton switcheroo spiral t-shirt. Like I said earlier, the only thing I did differently this time is I only secured the parchment paper and not the design, which seemed to work well. I was a little more careful with the peeling of this because it was a little bit more intricate. Something I didn't think about at the time is whether the heat press would affect the tie-dye or not. I'm very happy to say that it didn't affect it at all. The colors are exactly how they were before pressing and there's absolutely no damage to the shirt. For some of you that come to my channel, you know that I make a tie-dye sea turtle shirt, which has always reminded me of summer and the beach. The mandala in this design may represent a flower for some, but when I saw it, I thought of the sun. This shirt is going to scream summer when I combine this design with this tie-dye t-shirt. I did press it correctly this time at 330 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 seconds. Once you are done applying the design, you can turn off the auto heat press. If you forget, don't worry because after 10 minutes of inactivity, the heat press will turn off automatically. And once I take this parchment paper off, now we'll have a super rad tie-dye t-shirt that has a little summer beachy vibe to it. And make sure you smash that like button if you like this t-shirt. I am beyond happy with the results of these t-shirts. The HTV Rump products are high quality and are perfect for small businesses and crafters. I haven't noticed any peeling or cracking on the vinyl and the t-shirt is still soft and comfortable. I'm definitely giving this heat press a big thumbs up. HTV Rant is celebrating summer, so if you use my links in my description box, you can get $25 off the auto heat press 10% off sublimation paper, and 25% off heat transfer paper. That isn't it. HTV Rant also sells paint, resin products, and tie-dye kits, and you can receive up to 20% off these products as well. Have a fun, creative summer, and happy crafting.